An attorney for the parents of a teen found dead inside an old gym at Lowndes County High School. They're now asking federal investigators to get involved. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson was found dead inside of a rolled-up gym mat back in January. And this weekend, Bounce News was the only station, along with our sister station WTXL, there in town for a rally in Valdosta, along with civil rights activist Al Sharpton. Now, Bounce TV's Jade Belexa spoke with the family attorney today. Kendrick Johnson's death has been front and center on the minds of many people in Valdosta. Kendrick Johnson's parents have told me in the past they don't believe their son's death was an accident, which is how it was ruled officially last week after the release of a full autopsy report. Now Johnson's attorney is pressing forward asking the U.S. Attorney's Office to get involved. What we are hoping is that um, by knocking on more than one door that is a part of the Department of Justice that um, we will have an opportunity to get uh, Kendrick's case reexamined. Johnson's family members have been protesting for weeks. That all culminated this weekend in a rally in Valdosta featuring civil rights activist Al Sharpton. Despite the official autopsy report now being out, King says this is just the beginning. The attorney sent a letter to the Lowndes High principal back in February. What that letter does is uh, request that uh, any pertinent, potentially pertinent information and evidence be preserved uh, in anticipation of a potential suit being investigated and or filed. C.B. King says filing suit against the school is not a priority right now. Deputies with the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office say they conducted more than 100 interviews in the case. They tell us the case is closed unless they have more witnesses come forward. Jade Belexa, Bounce TV News at 7. Now, right now, there's a Facebook page with about 11,000 likes, and the hashtag, What Happened to KJ, is getting posts from all over the world. So what do you think about this case? You can say it and post it on our Facebook page.